Hey guys, what is going on? It is Shane Parker back here with you today. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me here again today if you are a returning viewer. And if you are a first time viewer, welcome. This is the second YouTube video in the brand new YouTube series that I'm doing. And today what we are going to be doing is a review. I said in the last video that I posted, which was my first video back, that in this channel we were going to try to have a healthy balance of reviews, discussions, etc. So last video again was my introduction video, reestablishing myself, getting reconnected with you guys, and today we're just going to jump right into it and do a review. So what are we reviewing today? Well today what we're going to review is the Hasbro Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Power Morpher Pink Ranger Edition. I'm going to go ahead and give you a visual of what the packaging for that looks like. Got some really cool artwork right here. I recently heard the name of the artist that uh, designed the artwork for some of these some of these boxes, but I forget it right now. So, anyways, here's a quick look at the box. Here's the top of it. It's Power Rangers Lightning Collection. We got the other five Rangers. Pink, red, blue, yellow, and black. This has just got a bunch of mumbo jumbo on the side of it. And then on the back here, we get a display of the Morpher. And then we also get a display of the Morpher on the stand that we get with it. The holster, which is pink. And then the other four power coins. And also a kind of a visual of what the Morpher does depending on what power coin you have inside of it. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip ahead. I'm going to open up this bad boy and then I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, so I skipped ahead here again like I said and I went ahead and I've opened up the Morpher so you didn't have to see me do all that on camera. Got it right here. Uh, what I want to do really quickly is I want to give you guys a visual and say a few things about Hasbro's original release of the Power Morpher for the five, for the the classic edition I would call it for the other four Rangers. Everybody at this point pretty much knows what this Morpher look like. Looks like I'm gonna just show it really quickly. That way, when I show the Pink Ranger Edition, it's easy to see the differences. Alright, so here's Hasbro's original release for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Morpher. Again, everybody knows what the what this looks like. We've seen it, you know, a million times. Got the gray plates with the black lightning bolts. Power Rangers around the coin here. And I will go ahead and take it out. Show you guys the back. We have the Zoo Ranger Z. This isn't as detailed as... Bandai's release several years ago of the Power Morpher, it also had this, and the plates on that one were more of a, they were die cast metal and they had that brushed metal look to it. This is plastic and it's got that plastic look to it, but this Morpher I believe is definitely way more show accurate than the Bandai release of the Power Rangers Morpher. While that one was nice, this one looks... Uh, way more like the one in the show did than the Bandai one. Alright, so we're going to set this to the side. And now I'm going to show you the Pink Ranger Edition. Bam. Alright, I think just based on this first visual here, I mean, we can clearly see the differences between the two. Um, the first thing that pops out at you right off the rip is the pink lightning bolts. This Morpher and the Yellow Ranger Edition that was also released by Hasbro, they are very reminiscent to the Movie Edition Power Morphers. Bandai also released those several years ago. I believe they did white, pink, blue, and red, and they never finished the series by doing yellow and black. I'm not sure why they did that. I don't know why toy companies do that. It seems like they release things that should be completed in a set and then they release most of the series and then don't finish them out all right but again so this looks a lot like the movie edition of the pink ranger morpher with the pink holster pink bolts also on this one it doesn't say power rangers 
around the coin. It's just kind of the this red area right here. I'll take it out of the holster and I will show you the back. The back looks exactly like the classic morpher again. There is absolutely no difference between this one and this one as far as the back of the morpher goes. All right. As far as the lights and sounds go for this morpher, again, depending on the coin that you have right now, I have the pterodactyl coin in there. That dictates what kind of lights and sound effects you will get when you activate the morpher. So you activate this morpher the same way that you do every Mighty Morphin Power Rangers morpher, which is the red button on the side here. So I'll go ahead, I'm just going to close it like that, but I'll open it for you. And we're going to go through each coin. It's Morphin Time! Alright, so that was the pterodactyl coin. To release the coins in these, all you do is turn them to the, that would be the left on the morpher. And then they just pop out like that. And you will hear that sound effect every time that you take it out or put it in. Alright, so it doesn't really matter which one we do. We're going to go with the Mastodon coin next. And the one thing that I do want to show you, these coins are really nice. I definitely prefer these to the ones that Bandai released with the Legacy Morpher. When you flip them over too, you see that sculpt in the back of each ranger's helmet. I just think that's really nice. So again, we're going to look at the Mastodon coin, flip it around, see the Black Ranger helmet. Alright, I'm going to pop this in the morpher. How you do this, uh, I'm going to try to do it the best I can and show you. You just pop it in there like that, turn it to the right, locks in place, and that will glow a certain color depending on what coin you have in there. It's trying to glow like a purple type color, but where the lens inside is pink, it looks more pink than it does purple. All right, so now I'm gonna activate it for you with the Mastodon coin in there. Taking it over to Mastodon. All right. Let's move on to Triceratops. Lock it in. It's glowing blue. I think you can see that. You can see that one really well. Okay. Let's do Sabretooth Tiger next. That's glowing yellow, also with the lens being pink. And I think it looks different on camera to you than it does to me. It doesn't look too yellow right here. All right, now we're going to get on to the last one. Last but not least, Tyrannosaurus. You can see that one a little better. That's glowing red, of course. All right. Rocky, time to morph! Okay. So, with each coin you put in, the sound effects on this one, I will say, are different than the classic morpher, but I'm not going to get too much into that right now because this video is not about the classic morpher, it's about the pink ranger edition. I want to, well, I'll give you guys a look at it open without a coin in there. And when you pop it open without a coin, it'll make this sound effect like it's broken. It's almost like sparks are going off and it doesn't know what to do. I'll do that one more time. Okay, and now we'll do it again with the Pink Ranger coin. Let's do this! So it has a bunch of different sound effects, a bunch of different lighting effects. What I want to do now is I want to give you guys a full visual of what it looks like in the holster and on the stand that it comes with. So I'm going to pop it back in the holster. I'm going to put it on the stand, and I'm going to show you what that looks like, hopefully without dropping it. 
I'm going to put the coins on the stand too because the stand is meant to be uh, as a meant to be used as a display piece with all the coins on it. Okay. Not in any particular order, but just so that I can get them on there. And I dropped one just like I said I would. All right. I keep dropping it. All right, now I'm going to raise it up. So that just looks really nice. The classic morpher has this stand as well, and it's kind of meant to do the same thing, be a display piece for your coins. I want to try to give you the best visual of it, but knowing my luck, I know I'm going to drop this thing. So this is basically the best that I can do. It looks really good. All right. So that is the Hasbro Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink Ranger Morpher. I definitely like it. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it um, a solid 8. It looks really good. Again, as I said, it does look like the movie Morpher with you know, the pink lightning bolts, the red around the coin that doesn't say... Power Rangers. The only difference is, is that the movie Morphers definitely had that more chrome look to it. This is more of just like a pale gray plastic kind of look. But I definitely like it and I'm 100% satisfied with it. The other thing that you get with this Morpher that I did forget to mention is you get these plastic, or not plastic, but like cardboard cutouts with different pictures on them. They remind me of like Pogs and unless you're my age, I don't think anybody knows what like pogs are or were. But you get, let's see, one, two, three, four. You get four of them. Mm -hmm. So I'll just show you each one that it came with. And it's just a different image on each one. I don't know why they give you these necessarily, but okay. And then that's it. Alright guys. Thank you again so much for joining me here today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I certainly enjoyed making it. This was definitely a fun item to review and tell you about it. If you are a collector of Power Rangers merchandise as well. And you like the Morphers. Then this is a piece that I definitely suggest you pick up. If you're not a fan of the Morphers and that not, that's not necessarily something that you collect, then you can skip it. Get something else. Alright. And definitely, I, I would suggest anybody pick this up. This is just definitely a good piece and I feel like any Power Rangers fan uh, at le needs at least one original Morpher in either variation of it. There's the original 93, the original 93 the Bandai version from 2013, and then this one. So there's three different iter iterations of the original 1993 Power Morpher. I highly suggest, if you're a collector of Power Rangers merchandise, that you pick one up for yourself to add to your collection. All right, guys. Again, it is Shane Parker, Mammoth Ranger 1093, coming at you with a review. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me. Until next time, may the power protect you. It's morphin' time.